and I was walking um, through Campus Center and I had all of my stuff with me. I had my tripod, my camera, um, and all of a sudden I just collided with me, a golf cart, and a bike. Biking on campus might usually mean following the bike lanes to keep order and stay safe. But it's become so popular, such an easy, cheap form of clean energy to get around that everybody has a bicycle. But for one student, bike safety on campus has become a concern. And so, yeah, I have a hairline fracture in my back. I was rushed to um, the student health center where I stayed in there for like six hours. Um, I missed my midterm the next day because I like couldn't sit up straight. Congestion, rushing, and the sheer number of people on campus have made it a bit more dangerous to bike. As I was coming over, um, around the turn, some guy came in and, and we slammed right into each other. We were both on bikes, flew off the bike. With thousands upon thousands of bicyclists who are often not paying attention. So it's a huge issue here. DPS tells me every day there's a bike collision somewhere on the USC campus. One proposed solution is to allow students to bike to campus, but not on campus. I never leave enough time to get to class, so I'm always running really, really late. So I would not be okay with that because it's nice to hop on my bike and get up right to where my building is. You want students to feel like they have the luxury of biking, but if people are getting injured, I'm sure I'm not the only person that's ever been hit by a bike. The administration hasn't confirmed any set solutions to bike safety and with bike culture being so strong at USC, this looks like it'll be hard to do. But if we have a serious injury, and I think it's inevitable, it will happen in time, maybe we're going to have to make those hard choices. With about 3,000 freshmen coming to USC each year, the number of bikes on campus is only increasing. Michaela Wickham, Channel 3 News, Los Angeles.